guys, it's Sarah of Sarah MacArt, and this is a 24 inch by 30 inch canvas. I've taped off the back. I've got it up on Molly's Artistry stands. I'll put a link below um, if she's got still some available. Uh, I'm gonna be using a Fluid Art Co. spatula to move my paint around a little. And what else? Nothing else. So what we're doing here is something that I uh, don't normally do, but I am absolutely inspired by uh, Sab Art on Instagram. I'll put her Instagram link below as well. Um, the first couple of tries I've done this, uh, I've created some beautiful pieces, but I've mixed up the formula and it's a different pouring medium and a different element to get these cells. I'm really excited to show you um, how I do it. Um, I created a couple of pieces in the last couple of weeks. So first, let me show you one of them. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it all on the screen. It is a big canvas. I don't even know what size it is. Um, but this is one of them. And I just love how this came out. And then I have also created a smaller piece that I only put up on Instagram and I just love this piece to death. Like this is like one of my favorite pieces ever. And I'm just gonna show you guys that. So I love it. It is a mixture of matte and gloss pouring mediums going on here. Um, so I think that might help with uh, how the outcome is. But uh, I'm celebrating my 500th video on YouTube and my fifth year in fluid art. Uh, so we are just going to get right to it. We're going to jump right in. I need a large pouring cup. And I am going to put my paint. I actually think I'm going to put this down first. I want it to have a little bit of movement. And I'm going to add the blue so this is the prussian blue this is uh phalo turquoise by golden the prussian blue is by golden this is let me see here this is golden's iridescent pearl and then i've also mixed up lily pad by the fluid art co it's a this little piggy pigment in lily pad and I have that also, so I'm just gonna drizzle that in there. And we'll see how that works. I'm gonna come in with some of the white. I'm gonna tip this around a bit. And now I'm gonna put in my cup here some of the blue, the turquoise, and definitely the white. And do I wanna do yeah, a little lily pad in there? Why not, right? You'll only live once. So I'm gonna come in here. Doesn't look like much right now, but it will. So we're gonna start some music and uh, go from there.
Okay, now that I've spread everything out and created some movement in the piece, I'm gonna give a torch to all of the air bubbles. There's a lot more, but we're not going to worry about that. And then I have my little cell maker here. There's just a little bit in this cup, just enough to coat the bottom. And we are going to flick this little thing onto the canvas. Pretty simple, <laughs> but the results are always just so beautiful. And then of course you can add some if you want to in certain areas. Like in here, there's a bunch of lily pad that's coming up. Mm, I get to so many cells. If I want to add cells in some areas, I'll actually touch the canvas with it. We are gonna wait to see how the dried results are in the next video because this will take a little while to um, dry. And who knows, maybe it'll be dry tomorrow, but you never know. Uh, I will be at the Fluid Art Boutique in Santa Fe, New Mexico, uh, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Uh, consider coming to take a class with me. Uh, Friday, we have a big collaboration with all the artists that will be uh, at the uh, fab event in Santa Fe. And what else? I don't know. Uh, get some products if you want spatulas like that and other products from the Fluid Art Co. And their link is below. I'm just trying to think of anything else that I may have forgotten. And I think... Uh, I think my brain is fried. I've painted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight pieces today and I'm gonna go home and start editing them. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye for now.